Okay, people, this is your girl Roxy again. I just want to show you. I took the Pillsbury out the box. I gotta put my glove back on. I don't like touching stuff. As I told y'all earlier. So. So, this is the spinach. I did get like about a quarter cup or almost a half a cup of fluid rather water out of this after it was frozen. So my next thing I'm going to do is just separate this here. I got this stone pan, remember I told y'all. And if you see, it's like the triangle pieces. And this is going to go out real quick once you get started. So you're just separating it. Just separate all the little triangle pieces. So it'll be easier to put together. So that's four here. So it's gonna make four pockets. I'm back, I had to sneeze a little, but I went out the space. Okay. It is cold outside today. I haven't even been out, but I know this house is kind of chilly. And we just started August. I mean, um, October. I mean, the fall just started. They say it's supposed to get really cold tomorrow. So I'm just going to keep unwrapping this. So you're going to get eight out of every little Pillsbury. You're going to get eight. Right now, you can have them going any kind of ways until we fill them up. So now, remember this here. This is the chicken with the cheese. As y'all can see, it's just chicken, canned chicken and cheese. I'm going to add all this in here. All that in there. that in there just want to mix it together as you can see just mixing it breaking up the cheese getting the spinach all that stuff mixed in together so you got the frozen pack of spinach but it's drained it all the water out so now you're just mixing everything into together the spinach the chicken and all the cheeses and they got the seasoning in there and if you can see it's really bonding together good you just want to keep doing it because you don't want it clunks in there you want it to be mixed all in together and next let's get some more mix i already cut my oven on 350 that's the noise you heard. I didn't time it yet. I just got it heating up to 350. I'm going to leave it in there about, I would say about 25, 30 minutes. And then you're going to keep checking it. You want it to be golden brown. And if you do it on a regular cookie sheet, just make sure it comes out golden brown on both sides. Um, you may need to spray the pan so it don't stick. You know, the same way you do any kind of biscuits if you're cooking. Um, but... The butter in it is going to help it so it don't stick, but I will actually just spray it down with a little bit of olive oil or pan, you know, just a bit, like a drop, a couple drops and everything. But on this stone here, I don't have to do any of that. That's the good thing. The stone cooks both ways and it won't stick. Ouch. That's my own. Oh. Okay. I'm getting it all mixed in. So one big bunch of spinach and cheese. Now, as I say, as you see, I add all the spinach and cheese. Now I'm gonna start adding the butter, the mayo, and let me see. I maybe to add some of this Kobe Jack. Now, okay. So this is the last kind of cheese I'm gonna add, which is Kobe Jack. I'm not gonna add a lot, just a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, that's about enough. So, I got that cheese added. I'll put that to the side. Let's mix it in again. Now, that's cheese that I actually had in the freezer. It was frozen. That's why I had to hold the block. It's a whole block of cheese in here, if you see. So I will buy them, freeze them. But I only need just a little shape off of them. And I just continue mixing. This is called a spinach delight. This is part two video with Roxy's World. So, you see what it's looking like. The next thing I'm going to do, my hand just cramped up. Hold on one second. Oh. Okay, I'm going to add, this is just butter. That's about a half a cup, because I got two boxes of spinach. If I would have did just one box, I guess I would have did like um, half of that, half a cup. fourth or something like that cup of um butter i'm gonna do a half a cut now it's creamy I'm just gonna mix all that in there mix it all in there and the main ingredients i almost forgot i just remember remind y'all i told y'all i had my did very long time. I'm going to require a lemon. I'm going to take the sticker off and wash it off. You sit the lemon right here. Keep mixing this in. Take this with this here. I'm just gonna scrape off the rind. That's what you're gonna add in there. Ben, thank you. Who thought that you was able to eat the, the rind of the lemon? The pillar. And and I say, this makes it come out even, it's really good. I already washed the lemon off, I rinsed it off. I'm just gonna take off some of the rind. As you see, it's falling through here. I'm gonna give it that kick, lemony kick. This is actually best, better than the um the other one that I had. Just scraping some of the, the pillow off. Just a little bit more neat. So lemons are good for a lot of stuff. You just learned another way. As you can see, the lemon basically got a lot off of here. Okay, that's about all I need. Sip that lemon here. And I'm gonna mix that in together. And all you smell is that lemon coming out of this. It's so good. Whoever thought you can like add lemon? I never knew that until I learned it from Pamper Chef years ago that you can actually add the zest off the skin, the pillow of the lemon into your ingredient or your dish that you're making. You can even do this on top of fish, like salmon, 
instead of put the whole slices, you can do it like this. And you can see the lemon, the little pebbles and lemon. You see it's getting to a, a nice ball. I'm just gonna keep rolling it, mixing it, and rolling it, and mixing it, smashing it, rolling it. It's looking good. So I got the butter, the lemon zest, the seasoning um, in there, all the cheeses in there. I got sharp cheddar. I have um, mozzarella. I have Kobe Jack. It's um, um, a mixture of cheese. Kobe and uh, Monter Monterey Jack cheese. Monterey Jack cheese. And I'm just mixing away the last ingredients. There's two last ingredients. And they got to be basically equal in quality. So... I gotta rinse this off. I don't like sticking anything in this unless it's um, clean. So, I'm rinsing the spoon off. We use the same spoon. I'm gonna take this and now move this up to way so you can see. Last ingredients I'm gonna add. Let's do the last two. Let's try two spoons of mayo. Let's try. Let's try three. Three spoons of mayo. And we're going to do miracle whip the same way. Okay. Now mix it. Let me open this. wash my hands like 20 or 30 times. I cannot stand anything on my hand. It drives me nuts. So, as you see, I got the mayo. You see the mayo in there. It's three spoons. And now I'm going to add three spoons of miracle. That might have been like two. Let's do a little bit one. Here. So, I try to make it half-half. This is for this jar. No, actually, this is for the mayo. Green top. Green label. And blue top for Miracle Whip. And blue label. Now, I got all my ingredients in here. I'm going to put these to the side so you can still see me doing this. Put that spoon there, and I'm just going to mix all this with that twirl it mix it 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 to a nice little piece and yes this can be a little fattening but it's so good you can treat yourself every once in a while like the Saturday so why not have a little nice little spinach delight you're still getting vegetables and everything and you may not want to order out no more from like getting pizza and everything else. You're like, oh my God, this is so good. So. Mix it real good. Everything's mixed in. That's your paste. And then I'm gonna add another roll of this Pillsbury, but I'm just gonna show you the basics. So now, the time has come to add this to the Pillsbury croissant rolls. So I'm going to take, I want you to be able to see this. Okay, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to take a spoon like that big, put it in the center, put a little bit more. I'm going to stretch it. Tuck it over, tuck it across, and tuck it over, and closing it. And you're just going to take your hand and seal the edges, close. You can take a fork and do this. 
afterwards. And I'll do the fork afterwards, but I'm just going to show you the purpose of what I'm doing. So, just want to get that in there. Close it. These are nice for like you got guests coming over. You got some wine. You just want to do something really quick. And I would have went faster, but I really wanted y'all to learn this. And if you can see this side is a little open. I'm just going to seal it shut. It's hard to seal it with the gloves. But you do the best you can because it's going to spill out. But I'm going to take a fork and close it. Close each one of them. And I'm going to put that one there. For years, a lot of people ask me, how did I make it? Now y'all got the recipe. I did Pamper Chef over 20 years ago. And I never forgot this recipe. Never forgot it. Because this is what I used to always make. I didn't know how to cook other stuff. So once they showed me this, this was like everybody's dinner for all the time. It's like getting your spinach to light. And they loved it. And I had no complaints. That's how good they are. And they melt in your mouth. It's something with the butter and all the ingredients mixed together. You just want to close it any way you can. That's where you can. Twirl it around. Pull this over. Make that pocket. It's that easy. Anybody can do it. You can do this with your children. And they're going to have fun because they're going to feel like they accomplished something. They're making food. They're making dinner. Wrap that this way, bring it over, and then you want to close it. And see how that part is open? I'm just going to bring that, close that right there. And like I said, if I have a lot left over, I could freeze it for a few, you know, like a week or two. Pull it out and make some more. But this don't last long in this household. I can tell you that now. This will go so quick. Because once my sons and relatives know that I'm making this, they will stop by to pick up some. This is good, like I said, like um, you're having like a little social party or something. Make some of these. Good for the kids. They'll eat it because it's like really good. I don't know what they watching, but I hear the profanity coming from the TV. I don't know, but I'm just going to ignore it. So here we got eight. And basically, this is how you make it. I'm going to grab another Pillsbury thing, and you'll see me crack it open. Um, if you want, you can watch part three of this video. And you'll see... Like I said, these are the croissants you want to get. You know, butter flake. And sometimes I hate nails. I can't do anything with them. You just want to pull this part. That don't work for me. It never does. There we go. And you just drop it out. That's the roll. Put that in trash in a few minutes. And you're just going to unravel it. 
and it's gonna make eight more. So I'm gonna make some room for the next eight to go and put it in the oven. And the last thing I'm gonna have on my feed is a picture of the outcome and maybe a little bit video of how it tastes from my family. But I know it tastes good. If it ain't something I can't make, I can make this. So you're just separating everything. And you're gonna do the same thing I just did, just a repeat. Let's start with this one. Okay, add a little bit more. There we go. Make it a nice size one. They're very fulfilling. They're going to spread out. They're going to spread out like really nice. Cover it. I'm going to take that, cover that side. Possibly wrap it around. That's one. And I have enough pastry that, like, if I want to make some of this um, for the week, I can make some for the week, put this in the, in the freezer, and I'll have some for the week. But I know my son, my husband, they probably take it to work with the, they've been waiting for me to make this for the longest. Put that there. And I just keep mixing just to keep turning it over. Get a nice little pile there. There we go. That's going to spill over a little, but it's all right. I'm going to close it. Close it. And wrap it around this end. Close that little part around here. And, you know, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a fork and just hit the sides. These are spinach delights. That may be my name. I don't think that's Pampered Chef name, but I call them spinach delights. I don't know what they called it back then. They were just good. And it was easy to make, especially with young children and just trying to get them to get that nourishment of iron and vegetables and everything. And this was perfect. So, whoever was my pamper chef rep i'm giving you a shout out thank you this has helped me out with a lot of my cooking days i want to spread that a little open so about 15 minutes ago i went in the other room my husband was like are they ready <laughs> they be waiting for these it's really good I'm like we didn't have this i guess they'd be ordering pizza but you know this was very cheap to buy, very cheap. You're gonna just buy the spinach, which is like a dollar or something. Then you're gonna buy the uh, Pillsbury, which is like a dollar, two dollars, um, which is the croissant roll. Maybe a dollar, dollar fifteen, I'm not sure. You can go to Walmart or one of the stores and get a couple of them. And like I said, the spinach, that probably was about no more than two dollars. The box spinach, dollar nineteen, two dollars. Um, food is going up, so I'm not sure the, the exact prices. And then, you know, the stuff you have around, cheese, you want to buy cheese. Cheese is expensive now. So you, but you want to get some cheese. The little packs, you didn't need to get all the large packs. That small family get the little packs. And then you have the, um, everybody got butter laying around. I'll just buy a stick of butter, you know? Do people even buy sticks of butter anymore? I be seeing the buckets all the time. I know that lasts us a long time. And you get the one with calcium, too. So you still get calcium in it. So you're just taking this. And you're just wrapping it, closing it the best way you can. Oh, I hate touching stuff. Make room for that. I'm gonna have to make room for that last one. And this is the last one. And I'm just taking that. 
closing it. Okay. Now what I can do, I think I'm going to spray this pan just a little. Just a little. Give it a nice brown toast. And I'm going to turn each one of them over. And spray the pan that way. Well, it'll be on top of this. So that way we know. Usually these stones that don't stick. But I just want to be very precautious. Because I don't, the, the dough is so sticky. So I'm going to turn all them over and just spray the other side. And sometimes you do have to spread them out. And like I said, you take a fork to close them. So I'm just going to spray some on the side. Give it that nice brown look. Okay. And this one here, I got to close that a little better. That's definitely going to spill out. If they spill out, it's okay. It's all going to be eaten. So you'll be all right. Tuck that, nip tuck, you got it. So you got like 16 on this board that we're gonna play with and put them in there and let them cook. And look how much I got left. I could have just used one box, but I didn't. But that's fine, it's all good. Get a little bit off of there. Okay. Okay, people, we're going to put it in the oven, and the next, you're going to see the results of this. And in the oven, it goes. Okay, so I have this left. I want to take this and make it into a ball, put it in a saran wrap, put in a aluminum foil, put it in a Ziploc. And then Monday, I can take this out and make Monday or Tuesday dinner. Um, and it still will be good. I can freeze it, do whatever you want. I may even send some over to my son's house, one of my son's house, so they'll have some. They can pull out and make dinner for their kids. For their kids, um, when their kids are hungry. All right, so that's about it. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, follow Roxy's World, R-O-X-E-Y 369, and that's about it. Follow me on TikTok, Roxy369. Um, and like I said, um, Twitch, which is one Roxy. And that's about it. Have a good day. And don't forget the lemon.